power. You see long lines for ICE. I want to bring in now Congressman David Rouser, whose district covers Wilmington. Uh, Congressman, overall, how, how's your district doing? What's the latest? Well, overall, the district is completely, totally underwater for the most part, and that and that's uh, not an exaggeration. Um, I have traveled uh, um, courtesy of the Coast Guard all throughout the district, and uh, just a number of rescue and supply missions uh, have been in place, uh, more than 111 of those. Obviously, when you have flooding of this magnitude, it just makes life very, very difficult. Uh, it makes it difficult to get power on. It makes it difficult to get supplies in uh, to these communities. You've got a lot of small towns. Of course, uh, Wilmington as well has been uh, basically roped off by the floodwaters. Uh, so it, it has made life very, very difficult. Uh, this is a recovery that's going to require a lot of patience, uh, a lot of community cooperation. I'm with uh, Brock Long, the uh, administrator of FEMA and the governor, and, and we, we are all going to be there in Wilmington later on this afternoon. And uh, I know the president obviously is, is heavily engaged and going to be making a trip to North Carolina uh, as well uh, here soon. And, and so it, it's, I can't stress enough the fact that uh, uh, patience uh, really is a virtue. Uh, it's going to be uh, very much required during this recovery process, which quite frankly is going to be long and arduous. Uh, it's going to take a, a tremendous amount of effort and time to get right. power restored in all of these places. Uh, when you have a flood of this magnitude, uh, it just makes life that much more difficult, and we're seeing the remnants of that now. People are eager to get back home, see what the damage is, start to clean up. Um, do you have an idea when perhaps it will be sort of an all-clear uh, to, to allow that to start happening? Well, they need to listen to their local officials, uh, pay close attention to what they're telling you. Just because an evacuation order has been rescinded does not mean it's safe uh, to come back home. In fact, uh, if, if they uh, have shelter, food and water and electricity where they're at, I would encourage them to stay put uh, for at least a couple more days uh, to allow uh, the linemen and other crews out there to uh, uh, clean up debris. I know we've got a tremendous amount of damage along I-40. Uh, I-40 may be out for some time. Uh, in fact, parts of I-40 look like the Cape Fear River. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen flooding of this magnitude over such a wide right. area. I've got nine counties in my congressional district. Eight of them are major disaster areas, and all eight have significant flooding.